Hello over there. Hey, this is Martin Chuck for Revolution Golf, and I've got that shot that you all hate. You know, I've got to carry some bunker. I've got a fairly firm, firm green, and I have a little bit of room there to operate. So I have no choice but to take this golf ball up. So let's talk about how you're going to hit this up shot. And worst of all, for a lot of you, I'm on a tight, closely mown portion of the golf course. I'm not over here in the fluffy stuff where I can really get under it. So let's talk about how to hit this high soft shot off the tightly mown surface. Let me go ahead and give it a try here. See how well I do. This shot's pretty tough. Got to have a lot of speed here. Come on, ball. I don't know if you can see that in the frame, but it's not too bad. It's about four feet. Try that again. Face is wide open. My feet are aiming way left. And I'm going to try to use some speed and slide the toe of this golf club right underneath that golf ball. Let's try it again. Let's see how that one does. Oh, that was pretty good. Now I'm going to pull the camera over here and we're going to talk about how to hit that shot. Okay, so that's a pretty tricky shot right there. You know, I've got closely mown fairway. There's really no room under the ball, but there is, and I'll explain that to you in just a second. And you got to have a bit of speed here to hit this shot. You know, I'm going to walk up really close to the camera and show you, if you can see this, how there's wipes across the face from the middle of the face toward the toe. Now, why was that the case? Well, I've got this face laid back. I've got it laid open. You know, I'm using a 56 degree wedge here. I could go to my 60, but really when you lay it open like this, a 56 works great. And when you lay it back, you really have a lot of bounce. You know, bounce is your friend, people, because you don't want that leading edge digging into the turf because that's going to lay the sod over the ball. What you want is when that ball is sitting there, I've got this ball well forward. I've got this club laid well back. This handle here is squared up with the, with, the, with the camera, and I'll just go ahead and hit one this way for you for a second. The handle's back. I've got the toe, the ball's played toward the toe here, and I'm going to slide this underneath the ball. And there's that high, spinny shot, and that left another mark going diagonal from the center of the club toward the toe. A ton of spin on that. Let's go toward the camera here. So the handle's back. I have trust in the bounce. I know that I've got a bunch of room for error between the leading edge and the sole of that club. When it lands in the ground, it's going to slide along like a ski tip. Hopefully those ski tips don't catch and we go head over heels. In this case, that ski tip's going to slide along and provide the forgiveness you need to hit that shot. So first of all, you need a little bit of speed. And this is one of the swings where I encourage you to go ahead and feel like you can flip that club head past your hands. Normally, you know, I want that flat left wrist and really hitting down on the ball. Well, in this shot, I don't. I want you to feel as though we can really flip the club past our hands. Let's go ahead and hit one toward the camera here. So again, handle back. I put my weight left. I like to keep my weight in one place, as you've, as you've found out. And we need some speed. And there's a good one. I know you couldn't see the result, but it's up there reasonably close. I can make that putt about six feet. So a lot of people don't have the nerve to hit this because they don't understand how some of this stuff works in your favor. That bounce, when the handle's back and the bounce is really exposed by turning the face to the right, it's really hard to take a divot. I'm hitting down super hard there, and all I'm doing is really mashing the ground with a massive amount of bounce. I'm not taking the club, turning it leading edge down, and sticking it in the ground. Okay, we don't want to do that. That's how you're going to lay the sod over it. The shot's rather forgiving. In fact, I'm not even hitting the golf ball first. I'm picking a spot behind the ball. I'm looking at the grass, kind of like a bunker shot. I'm looking at the grass, and this is the part that I'm going to hit, about a half inch to an inch behind the golf ball, trusting the bounce. Let's do it again. And there it is. So now I'm in sort of a semi-rough. You know, this is the this is about as long as the rough gets here at the Raven. 
But now I've got a bunch of room underneath that ball, and this makes a lot of you feel more comfortable. Me, personally, I'd rather have that tight lie because I know that I can take that club, force it down, skid it along the ground using the bounce as a ski tip. You know, when you've got this situation, you almost have to be a little bit more mindful that you don't go too far underneath it. So same kind of feeling, create some bounce, handle back, slide that sucker right underneath the ball, and that's a pretty good shot rolling up fairly close to the pin. So Martin Chuck for Revolution Golf, come on down here and see me sometime. Post your questions and comments below. I'll get to as many as I can.